Good morning, good morning. Praise God. As always, it is a blessing um, to be here with you and get ready for our Think It Through um, Bible study or Sunday school for our youth. And also, um, right below this video or right above this video should be our GPS podcast, which is hosted by our young adults, our youth, as well as our millennials are represented during that podcast. I just want to read a short scripture out of the book of second Kings, second Kings chapter six, verses one uh, through six, second Kings chapter six, verses one through six. And it reads, and this is a story about Elisha. Elisha was a prophet and he used to meet with other prophets. He used to meet with other men of God that were believers. And Elisha was sort of like the overseer of this group of prophets. And it came about that the place where they used to meet wasn't big enough to accompany them. So one of the men of God, one of the prophets said, hey, we need to build a bigger place for us to meet. How about we go down to the Jordan River, chop down some timber, you know, chop down some wood and start building a bigger place for us to meet. And, and they agreed and the militia said, go. And then they uh, said, well, one, one of them said, won't you come with us? And Elisha then went, went, went with them, and as they were chopping down this lumber, one of the men, his axe, the head of his axe had fell into the water. And obviously, axe is made of steel, so it floated to the bottom. And the man said, oh, it was borrowed. You know, I'm going to have to return that. That was borrowed from somebody. And Elisha said, point to, to it, point, show me where it, this axe head fell. And the man pointed to it and Elisha then threw a stick in and he caused the axe head to raise up out of the water. And the man was able to retrieve it and return it eventually to whom he borrowed it from. Okay, so the moral of this story as I read this scripture, these scriptures, is we have to trust God. We have to trust God. But let me read the scripture. I gave you the backdrop, so let me read the passage because uh, God's word is far more powerful than I can paraphrase. So his word has power. So let me read the scripture. And the word of God reads, The company of the prophets said to Elisha, Look, the place where we meet with you is too small for us. Let us go to the Jordan where each of us can get a pole and let us build a place there for us to meet so here they're telling Elisha hey man where we normally meet is too small let us go down to the Jordan to where we can you know get some lumber and build a bigger place and he said go and Elisha said go verses 3 then one of them said won't you please come with with your servants so one of them invited Elisha won't you come with us you know won't you come and roll with us down there to the Jordan as we try to chop this lumber, chop this wood to build us a bigger place to gather in order to worship God. I will, Elisha replied, verse 4, and he went with them. They went to the Jordan and began to cut down trees. As one of them was cutting down a tree, the iron axe head fell into the water. Oh no, my lord. He cried out, it was borrowed. So the one whose iron axe head, as he was cutting the tree down, I guess as he swung the axe, the iron part of the axe detached from the wooden handle and fell into the water. And he, he was like, oh no, I borrowed that axe head from somebody. And you know, tools back then, was it was important. That was a big thing. That was the commodity between food and tools and things of that nature that was the the equivalent of currency and verses six the man of god asked where did it fall when he showed him the place elisha cut a stick and threw it there and made the iron float lift it out he said then the man reached out his hand and took it okay so what god was revealing to me this morning is that many of us during this time of COVID had to expand our place of worship. We had to build a bigger place to worship God in. 
And what I mean by that is we didn't actually build uh, wood and stucco buildings. We didn't build buildings bigger. You understand? We didn't go in and build other buildings to worship in, but we had to build bigger platforms. We had to expand our place of worship during this time of COVID via Facebook, via Instagram, via TikTok videos. We had to create YouTube channels and whatnot in order to still get the word of God out. And we expanded. And in that process, we some of us thought we had lost something as this man had lost his axe head and it fell into the water. In this process of expanding and building our place of worship during this time of COVID by these different social media platforms, we thought we lost our followers we thought we lost some of our congregation we thought we may have lost some of our attendance but i just want to share with you and encourage you as well as myself that anytime you take on the the responsibility to expand your place of worship whether it be a uh, wood and stucco which in this case was not the case but in our case it was expanding via social media platforms anytime we take on the responsibility to expand our place of worship in order to meet in a bigger platform in order to meet in a bigger place that we might glorify and honor God what we may think we lost God will restore the same way Elisha restored that man the axe head God will restore unto us what we may have thought or what we may think we have lost in the process of us building or trying to expand our worship. That is what these men of God were doing. They were expanding their place of worship. So as long as we are following and trusting in God and what we are doing, what we may think we lost, we ain't lost nothing. God will restore whatever it is we may have thought we have lost. And in this same vein, I want to I want to thank my family, uh, my children. Um, Pre-COVID, I, I don't do social media. I don't do Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, none of that. I, I didn't do none of that stuff. But I had to expand the way that we worship or the way that I share the gospel in order to reach those whom God had placed in my heart to reach. And I couldn't have done it had it not been for my children, had it not been for my wife. So I want to thank my children. I'm a, I am not savvy with uh, all of this uh, technology and these modern day uh, social media platforms. And they were really and are still really behind the scenes <laughs> helping me helping me and hold me up creating these uh, YouTube channels creating the Instagrams creating uh, the Facebooks and, and just helping um, me as in, in assisting me as God uses us all to spread his word so I want to thank uh, my children my wife my family uh, they, they have really been a big part doing this COVID and I just want to encourage us all as well as myself the things that we may have thought we lost like that man thought he lost the axe head you have not lost anything in the same way Elisha made that axe head float God will make float back up to the top and make it float back to in your reach whatever it is you thought you have lost if in fact you are doing what God has called you to do that is the key they were doing what God called them to do. They were trying to build a bigger place in order to worship God. And that is in 2 Kings chapter 6, verses 1 through 6. Verses 1 through 7. 2 Kings chapter 6, verses 1 through 7. Read it um, when you get time. God bless you. Like I say. Can't wait to see you guys all physically. We do have church today. We are meeting every Sunday at Ecclesia at 1030. So God bless you guys. Enjoy the rest of your Sunday and take care.
talk to y'all soon.